Nancy Coyne. It's okay, buddy. Things will get better, I promise. You just gotta hang in there. It doesn't feel that way. I know. I know. Oh, no! Why did he get in here? I brought him. Marco and I had a chat. Archie knew how much Henry loves this dog. We decided he should have him. That is, if you're up for taking care of him, Henry. Yeah, I am. Henry, why don't you take Pongo outside and clean him up? Okay. Come on. All right, look. I know that there's a lot to work out logistically, no, but... No, no, no. Oh, I think giving Pongo to Henry... It's a great idea. It's just four people in a Dalmatian in this loft. Things might get a little... Cramped. I know. We'll get creative. Or we could get our own place. You, you want to move out? What? Whoa, I, this is just a suggestion. After 28 years, isn't this what we've all been waiting for? To be together under the same roof? Yes. I just imagined a bigger roof with turrets. <laughs> Being here in Storybrooke, we have a chance at a fresh start. Let's take it. I really liked this one. I don't know. The yard looks kind of small. You gonna say that about every house we look at? I grew up on a farm. This isn't about the houses, is it? We buried a friend this morning, Mary Margaret, and it made me realize I don't want to die here. But our home, David, it doesn't exist anymore. The ogres are back. Core is in power. Which is exactly why we need to return. To make things right, to fight. I'm tired of fighting. That's all we've ever done. We have a chance here. A chance to be together. But what if we don't belong here? Isn't it worth it to fight for what we really want? Unless we don't want the same thing. 